Hello and welcome back to Not Tonight. Joining me on the sofa this evening, we have, hit the music, SK L double A to the S. He's a DJ and a TA and he always says, God bless! It's teaching assistant, Beat Naked Beast, Martin Stack. And oh. you'll see more of this lady's face, a lot more on Not TV very soon. It's Catherine Ross. Hi. Hi. Now, Martin. <laughs> The last time you were on this show, something pretty special happened. I don't know if you remember it well. Shall we have a look at it? Go on, man. I asked you for some theme music, and this is what you came up with. <clears throat> a bit of a soundtrack. It'd be like sort of a... What, <laughs> what? What, what is my favourite bit? And I can confirm that since then, that, that is now my ringtone. I was sat in a... I it, I was amazed. I was sat in a public space the other night, it just went bom, bom, bom. Anyway. All right, first up on our menu of conversation this evening. A Nottingham <laughs> club promoter says that the UK is missing out when it comes to nightclub culture. Louis Knight's events are inspired by the party scene in Berlin and he's determined to bring a taste of the German way of raving to Nottingham. The Waves is a music event. Um, which is based on um, Berlin's passion and culture towards clubbing, especially within the house and techno scene. One aspect that I tried to bring is a sense of community, so you get to know people because you arrive early doors and you get familiar faces. I think the whole country is missing out on this kind of culture, especially after living in Berlin, actually loving that kind of relaxation within the house and techno venue. So you don't have to go and take loads of drugs and have to deal with the day afters and stuff like that. You can come to a very respectable event um, and enjoy house and techno. I like to use Rough Trades because um, we are keeping it within the, the independent kind of music industry. On May the 19th, we've actually um, sorted out a Berlin-inspired food menu, so they're going off what they normally do, which is really good anyway. So we're going to be having frankfurter hot dogs, um, kind of like lamb kebabs, and we're also going to have vegetarian and vegan options, obviously, so we can cater for all. Ah, Stacker, what do you make of that, bringing a taste of Berlin to Nottingham? I think it's nice. I think music from all around the world in Nottingham. I mean, Nottingham used to be the leader in dance music, didn't it, back mm. in the 90s? But, yeah, music from everywhere is great. I think it's, you know, like I said, the techno, um, America, Bounce. I mean, we've had all styles over, haven't we? But, uh, yeah. yeah, I enjoy it. And all the ones we introduced <clears throat> as Caribbean. Well, definitely, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tell us about those, then. Yeah, well, we brought in the ska, didn't we? And um, we brought in reggae moves, which, you know, move your body in interesting ways. Mm. Yeah, yeah, we brought those in. But when it comes to DJing, where have you toured? Have you been across the world, then? Yeah, I've been all over. Yeah, I've been all over. A bit, you know, a bit in America, like I said, and then Germany in Dusseldorf. Did a bit of DJing there, which is quite nice. Ibiza. I've done. Yeah, but I, well, I've not DJed there, but I've been clubbing there, and there's a, some amazing clubs there. I mean, there was on um, a place called Coo years ago. Sherry it was just, it's be as big as um, Victoria Centre. Yeah, this club was amazing. Do you think the clubbing huge. scene is as big in 2017 as it was say, 20 years ago? I think it's big, but it's changed. I think mm. I think people are now going to um, clubs later. I mean, like I mean, I work Square Saturday, and you can see people coming in, and you know, they're, they're getting all the, the drinks in and everything, getting into the mood. Then, boom, they're off. You can then sell about about one o'clock. It just everyone's going to the to the clubs, and then you've got your prison, you've got your Rock City, all the major clubs in Nottingham. They're just mm. going in there, and it's like so. Where before I used to DJ, it was like ten o'clock. The place would be full. Yeah. yeah. But now it's like they ain't getting busy now till twelve or one o'clock. So and then, and of course, once you pay to go in, you don't want to come out again, do you? So you stay. Mm. So, but there's so much good music to be offered in Nottingham. Yeah. Catherine, what about you? When did you go clubbing? <clears throat> no, unfortunately, I wasn't that kind of girl. I was more Aww. sort of. <laughs> <laughs> Did I... I did all the music and dancing at home, but I didn't actually go to clubs, so that's an area of experience that I've missed out on. Uh, you've never seen Martin Stack. I mean, I'm not going to put him on the spot right now, but this man can dance. Oh, oh right. well, well, Shall we? <laughs> no, let's not. Can we hit the beat? Let's hit the beat. Let's do it. Oh. Oh. Are, we, are we passing a wave on, then? There we go. Look, you're in low. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you can do that one, can't you? Like that. Look, look. I'm trying to do it last. She's got moves. moves, she's got moves. <laughs> so, Zachary, aside from the DJ, <coughs> where me. would you go out if you if you were looking to be in the crowd rather than on the decks? Where, in Nottingham. Where would I go? Oh. 
<laughs> Excuse me. I um, the last club I, you, well, the last club I went to was prison, and that was quite nice. That's in Nottingham because the, it was just that VIP treatment. As soon as you walk in, they like want to look after. I thought, hey, this is nice. And years ago, that didn't wasn't wasn't the main thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then again, then you go to places like Rock City, and you think, well, the bands that have been here, and you, you're, you're yeah, under yeah. that same roof as like some of the mm. big bands like Human League, and mm. then you know, the latest bands. And then you've got, for a student thing, you know, you've got your Oceana, and it's, the, it's probably the best student night you can ever have, you know. Mm. Just, but Nottingham's just great for clubs, yeah. isn't it? Uh, but... People should be coming to Notts and then taking <clears throat> our culture elsewhere, that's what I think. Exactly. Yeah. Welcome back to Notts tonight. Joining me on the show this evening. You'll never get sick of, sick of, sick of his skills. He's a DJ and TA to pay the bills. It's musical master, walking, talking, ghetto blaster, Mr. <laughs> DJ Skill Master. Yes, and it's the, and I came up with this on the spot, it's the Caribbean boss, Catherine Ross. Of course. All of us have experienced a bad day at some point in our lives, but have you ever had one that's so bad that you ended up suing your date? That's why I've been to one man who was so annoyed that his companion for the evening was texting in the cinema that he's claiming 17 dollars and 13 cents the price of the cinema ticket well it got us thinking about the do's and don'ts of cinema etiquette are you both cinema goers what's that you Catherine? yeah, yeah i do like it do you, does yeah. it annoy you when people i don't know like crunching on something or bringing some smelly food what's your what are your pet peeves oh no no i haven't got anything like that really no D does it annoy you if people like chatting in the corner or anything like oh, that yeah, if, if they chat yeah but the food i'm, I'm one of those that take a <laughs> what do you <laughs> What sort of group do you I take in the in cinema? I take the nachos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I used to love the cinema until oh, yeah. these things started to happen. Uh, yeah. There was, do you know then that buy the great big can of soft drink? Yeah. And then they're like trying to suck a tennis ball through a tennis <laughs> yeah. racket. <laughs> and you're like... And then someone brings an apple in and it's... Who oh, <laughs> takes an apple to the no, cinema? I know. Insane. And then no, there's them that sit there and they're going... Like that. And you're sat there trying to watch the film like this. <laughs> and you look behind and he's about seven foot three. You're like, seriously, mate. Hey, that'd be good for something like, like Titanic or something. If you yeah. say you're, you feel like you're in it, you'd be doing it. And then the other one, someone who's, I've walked six miles to get here to watch this film yeah. today, and then they take the trainers off. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's oh, 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 oh. You, you've, you've seen it all. Oh, but the question me. is, are you the kind of person, right? For example, you're sitting there, it's about to start, the music gets da 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 and all that, and you're in, and all of a sudden someone goes, Oh, mate, what do you think about what happened last night? Would you say, hey, you, shut up? <laughs> or would you go, uh, shh? Or would you just ignore him and let him have it? Let him have it? <laughs> I'd leave well alone. Really? Yeah, I'd leave well alone. I suppose, I've, I have in the past, I've had to say something before, so I've just, we're just like, shh, go on, mate, I can watch this. Uh, yeah. I've just got, nice, you know. I've got a terrible habit where just before the trailers start, every film I go see, I go for a quick wee. Every <laughs> time I see, it's like a body clock thing. <laughs> right, anyway, massive thanks to all of our guests this evening, Martin and Catherine. Don't miss tomorrow's episode where we'll have music and a live psychic medium. See you then. Mm -hmm.